Well, welcome back everybody to the World's Worst Fishing. I'm Chris Jones and uh, I'm in my house right now. Well, obviously, normally when I start a video, I'm out in the shop, but it is hot out there. So uh, I'm actually gonna wait a little while, maybe till after the sun's down to get out there and get started. Um, and no beer today, Cherry Coke. So definitely need to pick up some beer and it's almost October and you guys know what that means. Oktoberfest, German beer all month long. I'm gonna gain 15 pounds, but totally worth it. So today uh, I'm gonna attempt a colorway I've wanted to do for a long time. A Spanish mackerel if you look at a Spanish mackerel the top it, it has like these beautiful kind of greens and golds and blues it almost looks like a rainbow hologram and then they have those yellow spots down the side um, they're a really really pretty fish and yeah I mean they're they're used for bait um, you know sort of similar I guess to a bonita um, you know that's also used for bait so we're gonna make some Spanish mackerel lures and it's gonna require quite a bit of effort, but if I can pull it off, I think it'll look really neat. I've been kind of thinking about this one for a while. Um, so I think I've got an idea of how I can do it and, and make it look okay. Um, we'll see, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Well, it actually turned out to be a nice evening. It's not too warm or, or too hot and I'm not really sweating all that much. I'm sure that'll change after an hour, but nice kind of evening out here tonight. And uh, let's go back into the fish cave and get to work. Okay, everybody, so the challenge today, like we said earlier, the Spanish mackerel. Let's take a look at this. I mean, come on, zoom in. I mean, gorgeous. Well. Here, we'll zoom in that way. <laughs> but you can see it's kind of a pearlescent white bottom, sort of a multicolor holographic sheen to the top. And then you have those yellow spots. So there's another look at it. So obviously the yellow spots, I'm gonna take some gold uh, powder, mix it with a little bit of yellow colorant. Um, now to get this effect, all of that, you know, you, you kind of see some greens, some golds, some blues. So we're going to take um, some of these powders here and we're going to apply that with the brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pour a laminate, um, sort of a yellowish top with a pearl white bottom because I want the tail to still be yellow. So I need the top to be yellow, but then we'll kind of dust it with the powders and and hopefully make this thing look like a Spanish mackerel. So that is the challenge tonight. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please like and subscribe. Uh, show your friends. I mean, if, if your buddies are into fishing or tackle junkies, um, you know, they might like some of my stuff. So uh, your support helps keep the channel going. Um, so we have our dead on plastic craw tube blend. I like a nice firm blend for these bigger swim baits. This is the seven inch BAPE mold from stank x baits and then we have quite a few things here from lure craft lure works um, this is a dead on color this is some mica powder i sourced from a manufacturer um, so here we go all righty so the bottom again like most fish is white kind of an iridescent pearl white so that's what we're going to do we're just going to add a little bit not overdo it and, uh, and there's a lot of like blue sheens and highlights. So there again, a little bit of blue highlight. Cannot hurt. I absolutely love what highlights do for bait makers. I mean, it is just too good to be true what some of these materials do. It's, I mean, sometimes you just, you, you pour a bait and when you take it out of the mold, you're, you're just amazed that this all is available and we can do this and it works and and it looks good and <laughs> not you know not only works but it looks good uh, all right so this top color i'm not exactly sure how i want it to go so um we're just gonna kind of make something up here i know i want it to be 
kind of a yellowish gold because the tails on these Spanish mackerel are yellow and when you're hand pouring um, it's it's hard to just kind of pour a split color um, it's not easy like an injection so um, we're gonna add a touch of silver to it because it is a little darkened let's see what that does I may need to add some brown or just something to kind of dull it a little bit I'm not really sure this is quite foreign to me uh, pull up pull up that picture again yeah you you can barely tell but the tail the tail is basically that color so you see the tail down there so it's kind of like an off yellow almost like a mustard um, so we're just gonna add a little bit of this and and see what that does that's not bad it's definitely not the same but I really like that I actually really like that I don't want to keep adding stuff to it because then it'll be too thick that's kind of a nice transparent look right there um, okay well yeah we're gonna go with that relatively simple um, actual pour it's what's gonna happen to it after the fact where things are gonna get a little a little squirrely so we're gonna go ahead and pour our bottom halves here okay that's about right yeah looking good and then we're gonna pour this one sorry if that that's not the best camera angle that's dumb of me to do it sorry guys I should have moved it over to the right hand side where you could actually kind of tell what's going on here my apologies so there are our two bottom halves there with the white pearl alrighty and um, we're gonna go ahead and heat this up a little bit want a nice strong bond between the two layers and uh, and then we'll pour that side all right so we're gonna use the heat gun here to tack up um, our two sides actually we'll do this side first so I like to really um, tack up and kind of remelt down the the tail where it gets because uh, that's the part that sets up quicker where the kind of layer ends right there in that tail portion so I really hit that hard with the heat because that's the weak spot that's where if your baits gonna delaminate it's gonna do it there so I really tack that up and then we'll just go ahead and pour okay Come back to this tail here. Fill that in nice and slow. It's one good thing about these ginormous baits is that they're relatively easy to pour. It's when you're working with little teeny tiny spots like that and long skinny worms that it's you know that's that's where the that's where the uh, the really experienced guys shine. You know, we're we're still getting there ourselves so yeah I mean these are you 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 will not be able to pull these apart and delaminate them this is going to be some strong strong stuff here and that's the idea you don't want to give somebody a bait that's just going to pull apart and and, uh, and and delaminate at the line so yeah these are going to be these are going to be cool and in fact just this golden pearl color is kind of neat by itself. You know, I would imagine you could slap an eyeball on that and have yourself a, a really, really good looking bait. Always a good night when, uh, when, when you get text messages from Brad Hardy from Oracle Lures, the pouring master. We're talking about brushes, but uh, yeah, he's, he's the uh, <clears throat> Michelangelo of bait pouring. All right. Let's see if we can get one out. I really like this base color so far. I think it's gonna look pretty good. Come on, Billy. Yeah. Open that mold up a little bit. All right. Yeah, check that out. Like I said, a really great looking bait. 
on its own. Just a nice solid laminate. Perfect. I mean that is I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I laminated that one almost perfectly. I like to do it down the center of the eye, and you can see it kind of does that. Um, now the real question is, did this one do as well? Hardly get too perfect back to back like that, but we'll see. Let's get this one started. Okay, not quite. I didn't. You can see I didn't bring the white quite as far up, but it laminated perfectly even in the nose. So. I don't know. Still a win in my book. Those look really good. So hopefully I don't mess them up trying to make them look like mackerel. Because right now they look like golden whatevers. And they look really good. Okay, so we need greens and blues and golds up here on this top. And, you know, there's kind of already gold there. So I'm not really sure how much I'm going to do with that you know as far as brushing on gold powder that's already kind of there but you know the, the the green and blue it's just kind of all mixed in together if, if I look at this picture I mean that is just exquisite coloring so I don't think it really has to be super um, you know uh, uh, what what's the word I'm looking for y'all know what I'm trying to say organized I think it's just get whatever on there that you want on there and um, you know as long as you have the right color profile mix them all on there is however you want is kind of what I say you know, so we have our green and I might need to go to like a little bit brighter shade of green that's more of an aqua shade of green but you know here's our blue and that's what I love about these mica powders is how they'll just kind of blend themselves in with each other. Um, it's just lovely the effects that you can get just brushing on some powders. You know, I find myself doing this as much as I do actually mixing them in plastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm beginning to really like what I'm seeing, especially with that white pearl belly you you definitely need that if i look at the bottom of this fish it's just straight white pearl with some hues in it and there is a little bit of highlight there for for that purpose so we're going to bring this green a little further back all the way all the way back here for a while same with the blue just kind of mix them together till it till it looks about right yeah And um, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of white and just try to maybe extend the white pearl a little bit further there. Yeah. Something like that, just to just to kind of make it look like it's fading a little bit more with the white. So I definitely want a little bit more green in here. Okay. So if you kind of look at that, we have this green and blue and there's already kind of a gold hint to it from the base color. I'm wondering what else I might need there. Maybe it's hard to say because some of these some of these mackerel are different. Almost want a little bit brighter green, but I don't know if that's a good idea. If I look at this one, that one doesn't have near the bright green that's a little bit kind of closer to what I have just color profile wise and then if you imagine the the yellow spots um, I think this really won't look bad let me uh ponder real quick what I think my next move should be I think we're gonna add a very thin line of black pearl to to the top just to kind of kind of barely darken darken the top there because they're there it, it does darken as you get closer to the top of the fish like like most fish do so just kind of a yeah that kind of gives it a nice accent color along the top 
again just trying to stay with the natural the natural look of the fish so there's what we have yeah I, I kind of like that kind of like that a lot and if I imagine the yellow spots which we have our yellow uh, mixed up here this is gold pearl yellow pigment and a little bit of green so I think I think we're gonna go with that so let me go ahead and snap my finger real quick and then we'll have the other one done well so we're almost done here and it's official I'm sweating it's hot as heck out I knew it wasn't gonna be as good as I thought yeah such a lovely kind of combination of colors there I'm, I'm really digging this y'all I think this will sort of look like we wanted it to I absolutely love painting up lures like this and doing a little bit of art on it that is just so much fun okay now we're gonna kind of clean off our work area here okay time to put some of those yellow dots on there and they're just kind of random from what I can tell so we're just gonna kind of dab up and here we go they're actually pretty big yeah so there's one and they're just kind of here there and everywhere so we'll just kind of do one here looks like a mustard stain don't it check that out that's really not bad and we'll do one over here Try to fill it in. Do one a little further up. I'm trying to like uh, dab it, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. What do you guys think? I think this is actually coming together pretty pretty well kind of quite quite surprised here just want to keep looking at my picture to just kind of get an idea of maybe how many there are so now we're going to do the same to this side splotch them up yeah maybe a little bit bigger up front yes sir anyway we will uh, go ahead and fill out uh, the spots on the other two sides of these two baits and we'll meet you back when it's time to put on some eyeballs okay so I have an eyeball picked out here from dead meat customs he makes some wicked cool eyes so we're just going to glue it on here, some Loctite gel. All right, just a little bit does it. And again, I want the pupil facing forward. Perfect. Yeah, how about that, y'all? Spanish mackerel fun fish to catch they are lightning fast okay there it is on the other side again these are 15 millimeter eyes so that bait is complete and, uh, and then we will start work on this next bait here okay wish me luck guys here's clear depth number one okay take that out nice and fast beautiful looks like it's actually gonna work what do you guys think i think that's awesome man that is exciting to see it, it kind of reminds me of when i did the pinfish but i like this one a lot better this one's a lot more simple um the pinfish was golly a nightmare but very similar um concept here and um what i like most is that the mica powders allowed me to get the shiny 
kind of holographic effect that you see on a Spanish mackerel. If you've ever caught a Spanish mackerel, their skin just looks like a shining rainbow in a way. It's, it's really awesome. They're a beautiful fish. They don't eat so well, in my opinion. I think there's much better fish to eat in the ocean, but, uh, you know, if you catch some Spanish mackerel, definitely nothing to be ashamed of. They are awesome. Okay, don't you just love new baits being born? Look at those. Oh my gosh. And now, the final step. Cut the umbilical cord. <laughs> you have that little piece of uh, clear dip that always hangs off the nose. So once we cut the cord here, this is a brand new creation. Boom. Just like when I cut my son Landon's umbilical cord. <laughs> well, not exactly the same. Guys, that is it. I mean, those are those are Spanish freaking mackerel. Let's get out the picture. I mean, the picture is going to put them to shame. But if you're looking to uh, match the color profile of a Spanish mackerel, that is it. Wow. Man, I'm, I'm usually not this excited, but th this has got me fired up. I was thinking about this half the day at work today. I said, I've got to do the mackerel lures. And, um, ooh, those turned out good. See, here's the proof, guys. Rigging Spanish mackerel for tarpon. So these are on the menu for certain fish. <laughs> I had to check on that. I was like, wait a minute. Does anything even eat these things? And, uh, yeah, tarpon. Tarpon will do it to it, apparently. So I am, I could not be happier with those. That is absolutely exactly what I wanted. And I love the fact that I put that gray line on, on the top to just kind of, you know, make the top of the fish look dark like it should be. Wow. I'm in love, y'all. Well, okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is, I'm going to probably look at those the rest of the night. I mean, even, even Brad Hardy liked these. I just sent him a text. So, yeah, that is, that is awesome. That is exciting bait making, at least for me. Um, those dead meat eyes look absolutely fantastic. The kind of green and gold in the eyes, to me, just perfectly matches the overall color profile of the bait. I just, I, I could not be happier. So yeah, what do you guys think? All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this video. Shoot me a comment down below. Let me know how you like them. Chris, those are good. Chris, those suck. Um, as always, if you wanna buy these, holler at me. Um, these these are pretty special, so I'll, I'll sell them for the right price, but um, I'm, I'm so happy about this, guys. This is, this is like, a, a little victory for me so um, not the hardest thing I've ever tried to attempt um, but it's they just have such a cool color profile the Spanish mackerel are beautiful and um, just the the fact that I mean that's my first try so um, the, the fact that they came out that good that is like a little bit of a confidence booster there so um, anyway that's enough rambling Baits are setting up. I'm excited. Can't wait to look at them again tomorrow. Uh, they always look better the next day, in my opinion, because you just, once you've slept on it, I, I don't know. I don't really know where I'm going with that. I'm just excited. So thank you guys so much for watching the world's worst fishing, and we will catch you next time.